Hey everyone, Martin here at Orange Box Photography and welcome to another review. So today I wanted to take a look at my new uh, Manfrotto Light Duty Grip Ball Head. And this uh, comes in the flavour of the 324RC2. Uh, I bought this mainly because I wanted something you know, to use one handed uh, to adjust the D7000 when doing these videos. Um, and also when I'm doing videos outside, just quick uh, adjustments but also need to be light. So this uh, ball head uh, basically came at the top of the list. Now where uh, the specs uh, for the ball head, which I'll put a full list of specs up here, um, but the ones that were important to me was lightweight, which uh, it is at 470 grams. It's really lightweight. And um, this is mainly down to the fact that it's mainly constructed out of uh, high impact resistant plastic. Uh, so it's not made of metal except for the, the base, which we'll get on and see in a moment. But the important thing is it can actually hold up to 3.6 kilograms in weight. So it's going to easily take a D7000 plus my 7200 2.8 lens without uh, having to worry about it sagging or, or losing its grippiness uh, while it's sitting on there. So uh, it also comes with uh, Manfrotto's standard 200PL14 quick release plate. So if you already have some Manfrotto gear with those plates, um, they'll be right at home on this new duty grip ball head. Right, so let's get on and get this unboxed. Um, I quite like these Manfrotto boxes. Um, they're, they're very, very plain and some may say boring, but uh, you know, it's uh, to desensitize you before you see what's inside. That's what I think anyway. <laughs> um, so as usual with uh, Manfrotto gear, get a hoard of instructions. Um, as I said before in previous videos, I'm not one for instructions, but for those people who like to read instructions, they are there for you to have a look at. Uh, if we can just get this set out of its wrapper now. Um, there we go. Now, uh, if we just get that box out of the way, get rid of that. So, uh, it does come with uh, some Allen keys. Um, I'll show you what they're for later. I have I've seen this in the shop as well, um, and I'll show you what they're for. Um, but there it is, the, uh, the Manfrotto 324RC2. Um, light duty grip ball head. Um, basically, yeah, and we're going to get this on the tripod in a moment. Um, let you guys uh, just get a, a closer look and feel to this. Um, but uh, it's a really, really good ball head. Right, so here we have the Manfrotto 324RC2 mounted on the tripod. What I'll do is I'll walk you through its range of movements and you'll see just how easy it is for this uh, to be used. So basically, um, what you do is you grip uh, over here and squeeze the trigger. As you can see, as soon as you've done that, you can start turning this. Now this will turn 180 degrees front to back. And then it will also um, turn 360 degrees in a complete circle as well, rotating on the ball. Obviously, it will let you shoot landscape and portrait and rotate as well. Um, whilst it's in either orientation. Um, so this is going to be very useful, very easy to use. Now on the back here you can see, if we turn this around, um, there is uh, this little uh, friction button here. So you can either increase the friction or decrease the friction. So if you decrease it, obviously it makes the ball really easy to rotate around. or if you increase it, it stiffens that up. So obviously you'd want to adjust that depending on the weight of the camera gear that you're using on top of that so that when you release it, it doesn't just go jump and just drop straight to the bottom. So if we turn this around, if we have a look at the, the front plate here, um, as you can see, this is the uh, 200 uh, PL14 quick release plate. Now, as you can see, although you can lift that, you can't actually remove the plate. And the reason for that is if we turn this around, it does have this uh, locking mechanism here. And basically that's there so that uh, you can't accidentally knock your plate off. So to take your plate off, you have to lift it here. We turn this round and then lift that, which opens it up unless you take the plate out. And then putting it back in is just as easy as that. And that's it, locked back in place. Now, as you can see, you've got a bubble level on the top where it's the most useful. And um, so you can see if your camera is level or not. Unfortunately, they haven't put one on the side, which would have been nice, but uh, you know, there's nothing that can be done about that. Now, uh, that Allen key that I showed you earlier is uh, used for these two Allen screws over here. 
And the reason for that is that this can be actually mounted to either side, depending whether you're left-handed or right-handed. So that's quite a good uh, thing because obviously, um, you know, depending which handed you are, um, it's going to make your life a lot easier to have it on the right side, um, whether you're left-handed or right-handed. Um, overall, um, it feels really, really good. Um, it is made of plastic, as I said before, but it is a high quality plastic and it's also got a, a nice rubber grip over here just to, to give a little bit of comfort when you're twisting this around. So that's the Manfrotto 324RC2. Um, I can't recommend this enough. I've been thoroughly impressed with it. I've had the D7000 on it and it's a dream to use one-handed operation. No more messing with the knobs and things to adjust the video camera uh, for recording these videos and things. So if you're after something lightweight, simple to use, you know, if you don't like messing with all the buttons on it, then this is certainly a ball head you want to have a look at. You know, these sort of are going a retail around about 70 to 80 pounds. So they're not ex extremely expensive either. Certainly not the cheapest out there, but you know, it's going to last a long time. It feels durable and you know, it's got a nice weight to it. So that's it for now, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free, post them below. Uh, or alternatively, if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to email me at orangebox321 at gmail.com. That's it for now, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.